Hi, my name is Hanser from Team Solomid, and this is my basic champion guide to Graves' top. I think Graves is a really good pick in solo queue because he can bully a lot of melee matchups and he doesn't lose a lot of ranged matchups at all. So he's just an overall safe pick. And like when I say he bully melee matchups, he like absolutely destroys a lot of them just because he has constant pressure on lane. He could push under tower and harass really well under tower. And the only weakness I say for Graves is probably his ability to get ganked because he always has to be pushing to harass. And if you don't have enough wards or vision and you get ganked a lot, then you're gonna fall behind and be pretty useless late game. Graves top in lane is probably one of the strongest laners in the game just because he just has so much damage and you can't really walk up to him and trade with him because he'll always out trade you. And the best way to play him in lane is just try to get your Q off all the time and make sure you play around your reload in your two two shots because it's very important. If you like use two shots in a creep, then you'll be vulnerable to an all in from the enemy because you have to reload for like two seconds. So just make sure you space them out and just be careful of not having it go on CD. And after that, it's really simple. You just push your lane in all the time and you can just harass the enemy under tower and they can't really do much to you because if they're all on you, you'll have W and they can't really see you. And you have your E to escape a lot of stuff. Your ulti is also like a decent escape, but it's not really the best one. Other than that, his he's actually pretty weak to ganks because his gap closer is really short and he doesn't have a lot of mobility in his kit. I think team fighting on Graves is really weird because you want to go on the back line, but he doesn't have any CC to help him go on the back line. So I think the best way to play Graves in team fights is just kill the front line first, burst them all down, and then if you see any back line targets that are really low, you can execute them with your ultimate from far away. And pretty much just try to be annoying as you can in team fights. Like try to position your W so it makes sure you can block a lot of vision from the enemy carries and just kite back or like go forward depending on how the team fight goes. For my first tip on Graves, it's probably the most important one. It's that to be able to get your Q off, like as an instant burst, you have to be able to hit a wall. So you have to be able to position yourself really well if you're gonna go for a trade or like in team fights, just so you can get as much burst down as possible. Because if you don't hit a wall with your Q, then it takes like two seconds to go off again. But if you hit a wall, it goes off instantly, you have a lot more damage. Um, it's just hard to play around under towers or like in different situations where like they're over the wall and you can't queue them you just have to wait for the right opportunity for my second tip on graves top is that if you're going to be trying to dive towers you need to realize that your auto attacks don't go through the towers so if you're if you have a tower in between you and the enemy champion it'll always hit the tower and not the champion right so you need to position yourself to make sure you can only hit the champion for runes on Graves top, it's better to run standard attacks or uh, AD carry runes just because they're the most efficient on him. And it's basically just attack damage reds, armor yellows, magic resist blues, and attack speed quints. Attack speed is just really good on him, even though like his br his kit is just like all about burst, but it's still really, it feels really nice in game and helps you do more burst because you get your two shots off faster. Um, attack damage is always good because you're an AD champion, armor and magic resist. I like to go those over like health or CDR just because uh, he's actually really tanky with his E and just getting more flat resist makes him even more tankier. For Graves top, I like to go 12-18-0 just because it gives you the most amount of burst that you can use in your kit as possible. So in Frosty, I like to go Fury just because extra attack speed is always nice. Feast is really good in lane because it gives you a lot of sustain. Vampirism also gives you a lot of sustain. And Bounty Hunter over Oppressor just because you don't have any innate slows or stuns. So you're not going to get much out of the 2.5 damage. But with Bounty Hunter, because you're going to be killing a lot of people, you can possibly get like 5% extra damage. And the Cunning Tree, I like to go Savagery and Assassin, followed by Merciless and Dangerous Game, just because those are like probably the best uh, masteries for like an a damage champion and I got precision over intelligence just because you don't really need to cooldown reduction on graves you're more about the burst and thunderlords is just the best mastery probably in the game and it's also really good for burst champions like graves so that's why I take it for a skill over on graves top in the early game I have to get Q at level 1, then E, just in case you get ganked early, then Q again, and then get W at level 4. 
and then throughout the game you just max Q first, then E, and then W, and then your ulti. I like to go this way because you want to max Q first because it's your like main burst. And then E is just a really good dash and it gives you an extra auto. W is just more like a utility spell, you don't use it for your damage. And you have to level your ulti just because it's such a good spell. The item build on Graves, it's generally best to start out with the Doran's Blade early and Potion. And then depending on how you want to play, if you want to play like more burst heavy, then you can rush your Yomus and go into like a Sterex Gauge, BT with like Swifty Boots and like a Last Whisper or an IE later. There's a lot of different builds for him and you can go like a Crit build, which is like Essence Reaver, IE, Fire Cannon and BT, which makes you do a lot of burst damage just because you have a lot of crit but you're not like a bruiser, you're instead of more like an AD carry. The other builds are like Yomu's uh, Maw, just because if you're playing against an AP top, Maw of Maw Mordius is like a super good item because it gives you free armor penetration, you get the uh, huge shield from Maw, and the passive that increases your vamp and attack speed is really good in lane and for all ends so i think there's just a variety of builds but most likely you just want to go like pure 80 items and not go any like utility items like tank or like uh any tank items or magic resist items really you want to just go for as much damage as possible and try to burst down the enemy team thanks for watching make sure to check out my other videos at lowclass.com